G'day, welcome to May's Masterclass launch and I'm really excited this month. It's been such a busy month for me and you'll see why very soon. Um, but this month I have created for you all a beautiful classic style Raggedy Ann art doll. One of my favourites from the past, although I don't really like, in fact I don't like at all flat face dolls, so I have created a more sculpted doll. I think you're all going to love. Will fit in absolutely beautifully with your other art dolls. But this time she is standing. And so it's a new challenge for you all. And any of you who have been wanting to make really classic dolls in a standing style, if you haven't joined Masterclass, come along and join this month. Lots to do, lots to learn this month. So she is very classic and she actually is quite simple to put together. No expensive product being used this time. She's made up in felts and fabric and I thoroughly enjoyed the whole process. She's also got an absolutely beautiful accessory um, that you're going to be able to make as well and some new clothing and definitely some new shoes. Who wants to make new shoes? I'm, I could make little shoes all day long. So been a great month for me and I hope this one's gonna be a great month for you. I also have a question for you so that I can give away a beautiful pack of alcohol markers, which I have here. It's a gorgeous pack of alcohol markers, a big pack of 36, they're the ones that I use. So let's right now have a closer look at my beautiful Annie. So here she is, my beautiful Raggedy Ann. I've had absolutely the best time. I think this has been my favorite project so far in Masterclass. I'm going to be bringing you some new techniques with this one. I've kept it primarily quite classic and simple. Obviously I've gone for classic colors for a Raggedy Ann. We will be creating a gorgeous wig cap, which is something really new and different, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You get to use that Sherpa. Now, I've gone for the red, but of course, you could have beautiful lilac hair or any other color you like. You can make it up just as a gorgeous, really um, advanced art doll in incredible colors. I'm actually so looking forward to the different tones that everybody's going to bring. And just as well, you could do a gorgeous little dark haired doll. So lots to learn with this one, with this standing body. She's jointed at the waist, at the shoulders and at the neck. Um, and it's a fantastic new pattern. It's also going to allow you to make any of our medium art dolls from the past up as a standing doll. And from here on in, all of our art dolls that we do in a medium size, you'll be able to choose whether you do them standing or sitting. And I think that's really going to give you a whole lot of scope for your own collections. Beautiful little um, hobby horse there. One of the best accessories I've found for art dolls. It's just such a retro little look and it's really simple to do. Felt and some braided cord. So if you are a doll lover, maybe this month's masterclass is for you so come and join me so and also i want to show you in speaking about making them up the other past projects as a standing doll there's a little goat and i made my original one in a um, masterclass seated and we have that beautiful little standing goat there so you can see you're going to be able to have a whole lot of fun with that one and we've got lots of clothing now for them and they can intermix so you can definitely make up Raggedy Ann as Raggedy Andy so I'm also wanting to show you today's giveaway which is a gorgeous pack of alcohol markers now this is a big pack of 36 colors you see them all there and we've got a colorless blender in there, which is really, really important. Now, this is a brand that I use all the time. I found them to be really good. They're double-ended, a fine and a broad tip. Um, and as I said, 36 colors, just fabulous. I like Prismacolors too, but these ones are fabulous. So whoever answers my question correctly, first in the comments, I'm gonna send a pack out to you, wherever you are in the world. So here is the other reason why I have been so busy this month. This is my beautiful new addition to the family. Can I introduce you to Disney? So Disney is an eight week old West Highland White Terrier and she has joined Mr. T and I and Cheer. 
and Chia is being a lovely mentor to her already, doing very well. Disney's already protesting. You're going to be seeing a lot of her. Hopefully I can keep her still enough for the remainder of this clip. She's yawning, saying I'm bored already. She's gonna have a go at the earrings, of course. She's got a lot to learn and uh, we're gonna have our hands full, but we're absolutely loving her to pieces. Um, we do love the Terrier group and, and this little girl is going to be a big part of our life, hopefully, hopefully for 15 years or more. So, and she's live and cheer up for sure. So that question that I was going to ask you all, the question I get asked most is who does my hair? Who does my hair? Who cuts it and who styles it? Um, the person who cuts my hair, if you can give me their name, um, those of you who follow me will know this, you'll know who my hairdresser is. If you give me that person's name in the comments below, first one to do that, I will send those alcohol markers out to you pronto, wherever you live in the world, and uh, I'm sure you're gonna make great use of them. So I'm gonna get busy now working on a new project for everybody in Pay It Forward right here. Um, it won't be far away. I know you're all going to love it. And I'm also gonna get busy with some puppy training. So looking forward to the month ahead in Masterclass. Come and join us. All the links are gonna be down below. Come and join us in our Facebook group. Show off your beautiful work. And I will take this bored, tired puppy um, and give her some lunch. So thank you all for joining me and stay safe, everybody. Keep on being creative and remember to pay all of those good things forward. Until next time, it is Huru from us. Huru.